Konnichiwa, Japanese Amo no Misa desu. Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to compliment people and how to respond to the compliments in Japanese. And also I'm going to teach you funny ways to respond to those compliments. So first, when you want to say amazing, wow, you can say sugoi, sugoi. And a lot of you probably have heard this. But this is always good to remember. Sugoi! Like, wow! So when someone does something amazing, impressive, just say, Sugoi! That's how we say, wow! I'm so amazed! And you can also use Sugoi like an adverb. It's actually correct to change Sugoi into Sugoku to put it in front of an adjective. So technically you have to say sugoku and another adjective like sugoku kawaii then that means it's so cute but informally a lot of people say sugoi kawaii sugoi kawaii so it's like amazingly cute and yeah it's not technically correct but people do use it so yeah, if you're not talking to your teacher, for example, um, I think you can use it. So you could either say, Sugoku oishi! It tastes amazing! It's so delicious! Or, Sugoi oishi! And here, Sugoi or Sugoku are really used as very. So you can use it about something negative as well. So, Sugoku tsukareta! I'm very tired! doesn't mean I'm amazingly tired. <laughs> I mean, literally, but yeah. It's like, I'm very tired. Sugoku tsukareta. Or, sugoku tsumannai. I mean, it's so boring. Sugoku tsumannai. <laughs> and similar to this sugoi, you might also hear tsubarashi, tsubarashi. But this sounds quite formal. So I don't really use it unless I'm talking to someone formally or I kind of want to sound formal, kind of even as a joke. So if I'm talking to my friend and my friend does something amazing and I want to like, like, wow, not sarcastically, uh, you could say, Subarashi. It's like, wow. I mean, I guess it's a bit sarcastic because you, <laughs> but you can still say it. But, for example, if you're talking to someone you have to look up to, you could say, Subarashi desu. Subarashi desu. Like you could say, Sensei no sakuhin wa subarashi desu. But again, it sounds quite formal, so people generally say, Sugoi! And the other one is, Suteki? Suteki? This is actually a na adjective, so it's, Suteki na. If you want to put it in front of a noun, like, Suteki na. Hito, that is like amazing person, nice person. Um, but some people think this sounds quite feminine or outdated. Mostly I've heard women use this word, but I've also heard some um, old ish men use it too. Again, younger people don't really use this, suteki. But again, I sometimes use it kind of as a joke, so. You know, when you talk to your friends, even if it sounds formal, you use that word just kind of to sound funny. So I could say, Suteki! <laughs> they mean like, oh, that's so fabulous, that's so great. <laughs> and the next one is my favorite. Sasuga, sasuga. Or formally, Sasuga desu, Sasuga desu. I've taught you this word in another video, but this one really is my favorite. I like hearing it. <laughs> I like hearing Sasuga Misa, Sasuga Misa. So Sasuga is used like that's my girl or that's my Misa, but literally it means that's as good as I expected. So when someone does something great and you were not doubting that person, like you knew that that person could do that great job you'd say sasuga it's kind of like i knew you could do it like i believed in you and you did it kind of like amazing as always and the next one is the most basic compliment you can give to a girl like a japanese girl we say kawaii 
Kawaii is like the first word you need to remember in Japanese. <laughs> A kawaii is cute. I mean, in English or in the West generally, people might not really like it when people call you cute, right? It's better to say you're pretty at least. Maybe you're beautiful is better. And cute is not always what girls want when speaking English. But in Japanese, kawaii is what girls want to hear generally. Unless the girl is the sort of like sophisticated, very elegant woman, um, then maybe kirei is a better compliment. Kirei. Kirei is still good for kawaii girls, but kirei means beautiful. It's actually an adjective. Kirei na. So when you want to put it in front of now, you have to say kirei na. Now, like, kirei na onna no hito. Kirei na onna no hito to mean beautiful woman. But when you want to say you're beautiful, you have to get rid of the na because there is no noun following. So you say kirei, kirei, or kirei desu, kirei desu. So just saying kawaii is good, but you can, for example, say honto ni kawaii, you're really cute. Honto ni kawaii. Hontoni, really. Hontoni kawaii, or more colloquially, you could say, Mecha kawaii, mecha kawaii, you're super cute. Mecha is very informal, but very common. Or, maji de kawaii, you're seriously cute. Maji de kawaii. Or, sugoku kawaii, right, using sugoi. Sugoku kawaii, very cute. And, some people make a mistake of saying, Kyo nanka kawaii ne? Kyo nanka kawaii ne? Huh, you look cute for some reason today. And this is not a linguistic mistake, because Japanese people do that too. But this is okay. I mean, sure, people do say it, but it kind of sounds like, okay, so I'm only cute today. <laughs> It can be taken as a compliment, obviously, because they probably don't mean anything bad. They just mean, oh, you look different and more pretty today. But some people get offended in a way, because it's kind of like saying, you don't always look good, but you do today. <laughs> so, kyo today, nanka is like for some reason, or you could just say like somewhat or kinda. And also nanka is used as a filler, like, like, oh, I say this like too much, ah, I'm sorry. Anyway, yeah, I say nanka a lot when speaking Japanese too. Anyway, you can use like a filler word or somewhat or for some reason. If you say nanka kaiwe, I don't know why, but it's itchy. Anyway, kyo nanka kawaii. It's like, huh, you look cute today for some reason. <laughs> Instead of that, you could say, Kyo mo kawaii ne. Kyo mo kawaii ne. You look cute as always. So, by adding this mo, which means also, it makes it mean as always. Literally, it means today too. Today also. So, you look cute today too. You look cute today also. So basically, that would turn into, you look good. As always, kyo mo kawaii ne. Or you can say, kyo mo kawaii yo. I've made a lesson on the differences between the yo particle and the ne particle, so check that out. And this is such a common compliment, right? Kawaii. When a friend says it to another friend, a lot of the time, the girl who receives the compliments says, yeah, zen 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 zen. <laughs> Japanese girls really do that. Zenzen means not at all. Iya is like nope. Like yeah, zen 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 zen. Like nope, not at all, not at all. Or they might say the name of the person who gives the compliment, so like the listener. No ho ga kawaii yo. So let's say Sakura chan gives me a compliment. Misa kawaii. Then I'll say Sakura chan no ho ga kawaii yo. Sakura chan no ho ga kawaii yo. It means Sakura-chan is cuter, so it's like, you are cuter than me. Um, that's kind of a common response to 
someone no ho ga kawaii yo. Or they might say someone koso kawaii yo. Someone koso kawaii yo. So I could say sakura chan koso kawaii yo. Which could roughly be translated as you are cute or you are cute too. So this koso puts an emphasis on the preceding word. So sakura chan koso you are cute. So the next one is usually what guys like to hear. Kakkoi, kakkoi, which means handsome or cool. Kakkoi. So this word is generally used about men. Kakkoi. So if I'm talking to Hirokun, then I'll say, Hirokun kakkoi. Hiro-kun, kakkoi. You're so handsome, Hiro. This word can be used about objects too. But something that usually looks cool, so you don't really use it as cool, like in English. Like you can't say, "Let's go there." Cool. Like you can't say, "Kakui." Kakui is like handsome, or usually cool because it's manly. So you can say, "Kakui kuruma desu ne." Kakui kuruma desu ne. Cool car. Or you could just also say, いい車ですね Good car. And another word that means good looking or handsome is イケメン,イケメン This is slang for good looking man. イケメン stands for イケてるメンズイケてる is kind of a funny word, but it can mean like, that's so dope, that's so cool, that's so sick. <laughs>、uh, いけてる。メンズメンズ。メン。Like, I don't know why we put ず。Because, like, メン is already in plural. But we think we need to put s for plural. Like, girls, boys. So why not men's? Man's. うまんず。<laughs> anyway. いけてるメンズ。We never say that. We say いけめん。And いけめん means Handsome guy, hot guy. So, because this is very slangy and kind of funny,、uh, obviously, when people say ikemen, they mean it. They mean that it's cool. But personally, I think it means more when girls say kakkoi, like you're so handsome, you're so cool. Ikemen can be said jokingly. Like girls say, mite, 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 ikemen. Look, he's so hot. And another way to Give a compliment about appearances is saying, Model mitai, model mitai. You look like a model. So, model is how we say model. And mitai is like to be like, to look like. I've already made a lesson on that, so please check that out. Model mitai, you look like a model. Some people might also say, Motel de sho, motel de sho. Again, motel is slang. And it means to be popular usually with other genders. Obviously, it doesn't have to be one gender. But generally, when people say motere, it's not just being popular, it's like people fancying you. So, we do have a word, ninki, or it's an adjective. So, ninki na to mean popular. Like you could say, Pokemon wa ninki desu. To mean Pokemon is popular. But when you mean popular with girls, boys, and like people fancying you, you say motere. And this is such a common word, you definitely hear it. And you can say motere de sho. De sho is like, am I right? So you must be popular, am I right? Motere de sho. And that's a compliment too. But if you wanna. Jokingly reply to it or reply to kakkoi or even kawaii, you could say, Ah, mote sugite, komatte runda. <laughs> mote sugite, komatte runda. So, mote ru is a verb and mote sugire, sugire is too much. So, mote sugire is like, I'm too popular. like, I can't handle how popular I am. Like, <laughs> motesugi. And motesugi te. So it's in the te form. So 
because I'm so popular. I'm too popular. Komatteru. Komatteru is like, I don't know what to do, or I'm having a hard time, or I'm in trouble. So, <laughs> mote sugite, komatteru n da is like a joking way to reply. Uh, and that means, I'm too popular, I don't know what to do. <laughs> and, you know, if you exaggerate it, like flip your hair, mote sugite, komatteru n da, then, you know, that's funny. I don't know, if you never joke and you say that, people might be like, alright. <laughs> and the other compliments are like, niatteru, niatteru, or more formally, niattemasu. And that means it looks good on you or it suits you well. So you can say, その服似合ってる to mean that outfit looks good on you. その服似合ってる Or you can say, 新しい髪型似合ってる新しい髪型似合ってる Your new hairstyle looks great on you. And another one that's to do with fashion is Oshare! Oshare! That's also a great compliment. It means you have a great taste or fashionable. So Oshare is usually used about someone's fashion, like someone being fashionable, being trendy. So if someone dresses well, you should definitely say Oshare is such a good compliment and common one. Oshare! And it doesn't always have to be used about person. You can say, Oshare na cafe. Oshare na cafe. Then that means fancy cafe or cafe that looks good. Cafe that looks insta worthy. <laughs> or you could, you could sometimes say posh, like posh cafe, posh restaurant. Oshare na restaurant. You know the Disney film Aristocats? We call it Oshare Kato. <laughs> Oshare Kato. Like posh cats. <laughs> Obviously, Japanese people didn't want it to be Oshare na neko. Like, why would we use a Japanese word when Kato sounds better? <laughs> but yeah, we say Oshare Kato for the arist cats. Alright, the next one is also a very good one to remember. Jōzu. Jōzu. You're good. As in, you're good at something, you're skilled. So, you want to usually put what that person is good at. So, you probably have heard this phrase, Nihongo jōzu desu ne. Nihongo jōzu desu ne. Your Japanese is good. So, I've already made a lesson on this, but you don't want to use e good, when you want to say, oh, your Japanese is good, your English is good. You don't want to say, Misa no ego i. Like, that's not natural at all. You want to say, Misa no ego jōzu to mean, your English is good, Misa. So anyway, we use jōzu, right? And the Nihongo jōzu desu ne is like the first compliment you might get when you land in Japan, <laughs> if you speak a bit of Japanese. But you know, people are not making fun of you when they say that. They genuinely think that it's amazing that you're learning Japanese. Like, a lot of Japanese people don't expect for non-Japanese person to learn Japanese because Japanese is only used in Japan. And yeah, there are loads of Japanese people like in the world because the population is big, but we don't really expect it, right? So when someone even says konnichiwa or arigato, we're impressed. So we can't help but say, Nihongo jōzu desu ne. <laughs> Obviously, when you are actually fluent in Japanese, people would be like, Wa jōzu desu ne. <laughs> Too. Anyway, instead of Nihongo, you could, for example, say, Ryōri jōzu, or Ryōri jōzu da ne, or Ryōri jōzu desu ne. Your cooking is amazing. You're so good at cooking. And that's like, a really nice compliment, at least to me. I like cooking, I like cooking for people, and when people don't say anything, I get offended. <laughs> and I want to hear, ryori jōzu da ne, or at least oishi. <laughs> That's probably very normal. 
It's not just me, right? Uh, you want to hear if you cook for someone. Or some people might like to hear Unten jōzu da ne Unten is driving Like you say kuruma wo unten suru to mean to drive a car So you could say Unten jōzu da ne or unten jōzu desu ne You're good driving. Your driving is great. Or I would like to hear Gemu jōzu da ne Gemu jōzu da ne yeah, my aim is not great, so someday, hopefully, someone will tell me <laughs> Game jōzu da ne, or oba ochi jōzu da ne Like, I would love to hear that, but not yet <laughs> Alright, the next one is also a nice compliment I like to hear <laughs> Atama ii ne Atama ii ne So, remember, atama means head And e is good Right, so atama ga i is how we say smart. Atama ga i. But informally, we usually omit the ga particle and say atama i. So you can say, Misa atama i ne. You're smart, Misa. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, anyway, you can say atama i ne. Or you could say tensai, tensai, which means genius. So you could say, Misa tensai. Misa, you're a genius. Um, <laughs> and the next one is also nice. Sonke suru or sonke shimas or even sonke shicha, sonke shicha, sonke suru is to respect or to admire someone. So sonke suru or sonke shimas is like I respect you, I admire you. It might sound intense, but you could say it, and it's really nice too. And the reason why I put chao, which usually means I do something and I regret, like if you say, tabesugi chatta, and that means, oh, I ate too much and I re regret it. Like I shouldn't have eaten this much. But you can also use this chao or te Um Like I can't help but do something. So, Sonke shichau is like, I can't help but respect you, admire you. I've made a lesson on that too, so check that out. And similar to this sonke shichau, we also sometimes say hore chau, which kind of means like, oh, I'm falling for you, I'm falling in love with you. And like, I can't help but fall in love with you. Horeru is the dictionary form to fall in love or to fall for someone Horeru So you can just say Horeru to me I'm falling in love with you or I'm sponsoring you so much Like if you're watching an actor on TV and you're like Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I fancy him so much You can say Yabai, yabai, Horeru <laughs> um, But you can also attach the chao thing Like I can't help but and say Hore chao It's like I can't help it, but I'm falling in love. Hore chao. Alright, the next one is also quite nice. Hanashi yasui. Hanashi yasui. Which means easy to talk to. Hanasu is to talk, to speak. And this hanashi is in the must form stem. So, hanashi mas is the must form, right? The polite form. And without the mas, that's hanashi, must form stem. Plus, Yasui means easy to do something. So when you want to put a, when you put a verb in the must form stem and put yasui, it means easy to do something. So yasui usually means cheap, right? Like you say, kono banana yasui. I don't know why I chose banana. Uh, this banana is cheap. Kono banana yasui. But this yasui is different. So, hanashi yasui is easy to talk to. Tsukai yasui is easy to use. Like you could say, Kono pasokon wa tsukai yasui desu. This computer is easy to use. So, you could say, for example, Misa wa honto ni hanashi yasui. Misa, you're so easy to talk to. Or the next one is also quite nice. Tayori ni naru. Tayori ni naru. And if someone says, Honto ni tayori ni naru, and it's like, I can always count on you. 
Tayori ni naru basically means dependable or trustworthy. So, tayori ni naru, like, you are so dependable, trustworthy. Like, I can rely on you. You can also use tayori ni suru to mean to count on someone. So, you can say tayori ni shite yo to mean count on me. So, you could also say tayori ni shite ru yo or tayori ni shite mas to mean I'm counting on you. So if you say tayori ni shite ru yo, then it's like I'm counting on you. But if you say tayori ni naru, then it sounds more like you know you can count on that person. You know that that person is very dependable. And you can say tayori ni naru, like I know I can count on you. Alright, so now let's learn how to respond to the compliments. So remember I told you that when a girl hears kawaii from another girl, they often go, yeah, zin, 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 zin. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. <laughs> yeah, zen, 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 zen. But they might also say, sonna koto nai desu, sonna koto nai desu. And it means that's not true. But those, yeah, zen, zen, or sonna koto nai desu, although they are very common, some people think it's better to just accept the compliment. It's more common in English to say thank you to a compliment. We don't really do it. We do say arigato, but it is also true that a lot of people just say Ya zenzen, o son na koto nai desu. Or other options are just be happy about it. So for example, you could say Ureshi, ah, that makes me happy. Ureshi, which means glad or happy. And you could even, for example, say, Ureshi, motto homete. I sometimes say this to friends because I think that's kind of funny. And I do want more compliments. <laughs> so I say, Eh, Ureshi, motto homete. So, Ureshi, oh, that makes me happy. Motto, more, more, <laughs> motto. And, motto homete. Homeru is to compliment. So, motto homete. Homeru is in the te form, the request form. So that means, please compliment me. Please give me a compliment. Motto homete. More compliments, please. <laughs> or you could also say, motto itte. Motto itte. Say it more. <laughs> itte is in the te form, you, to say. So, say that to me more. Motto itte. So you can say, Ureshi, motto itte kudasai, as well, formally. Although if you say that, your friend's reaction might just be like, Hi, hi, yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay, okay. Or if you're really close to your friend, your friend might say, Hi, hi, choushi noru na. Hi, hi, choushi noru na. Choushi ni noru na basically means don't get cocky or don't get carried away. So, obviously, you can say it to hurt someone's feeling. Like, it can be harsh. Like, choushi noru na, or very informally, choushi non na. That sounds harsh, but if you're really close to your friend, you can say that. Choushi non na, or choushi ni noru na. You might hear this in anime too. Or, what I like to say when someone's like, motto homete, I could say, 100円 kudasai. <laughs> 100円 kudasai. 100円 is 100 yen. It's like a dollar. 100円 kudasai. Give me a dollar. Give me 100 yen. Then I'll give you a compliment. <laughs> so that's kind of funny too. And if you're not that kind of a joking person, you can say, Ah, tereru yo. Or, tereru jan. And that means you're making me blush. Or, you embarrassing me. Tereru is like to get all embarrassed and shy, but it's kind of closer to you making me blush. Tereru. Uh, that's very common too. I say this a lot too. Ah, mo tereru yo, o tereru jan. You making me blush. You know that's tereru. The kanji in tereru is actually the same kanji as teriyaki. You know teriyaki so it's always kind of glossy, right? Uh, it's because teru means like to glaze or to shine. 
Like you could say taiyo ga teru to mean the, sh- the sun shines. And teriyaki actually comes from the shining part. And yaki comes from yaku, which means to fry or to grill. And tereru is like, just imagine sun, sun shining on you and then that's making you all red and blush. It just means to be embarrassed, like hazukashi. But when people give you a compliment, you usually say tereru, teremasu. Some people might also say, yamete yo, or mo yamete yo, stop, stop it. Then they might say, demo yame nai de, but don't stop. <laughs> so you could combine like, mo yamete yo, demo yame nai de, stop it, but don't stop. <laughs> this mo is used when you're frustrated. Um, so when I keep accidentally deleting my files that have videos. I've done it so many times. I've done this twice this month. I've lost two long grammar lessons. Anyway, I said, <laughs> It's like, oh, jeez. And another one that I've heard people say, but I personally don't use it, but people also jokingly say, I know. <laughs> so if someone says, Kawaii, you can say, Shitteru, I know. <laughs> or, Kakoi, you're so handsome, you're cool. Shitteru, I know. <laughs> so that's funny too. Like, make sure to um, make it obvious that you're joking, right? I mean, people would know that you're joking. Like, most sane people don't say, I know. To a compliment, so well, maybe they, they do. Yeah. So yeah, you could say, "shitteru." Either way, you should remember this phrase anyway. I know, "shitteru." Formally, you can say, "shitteimasu," "shitteimasu," but you shouldn't really say it when speaking formally, like this. Like you, you shouldn't reply like this when someone you're meant to talk formally to uh, gives a compliment. <laughs> And the next one is very common, and I quite like it too. You can say, "Sonna ni homete mo nani mo denai yo." Sonna ni homete mo nani mo denai yo. This is such a common phrase when someone gives you a compliment. It basically means flattery won't get you anywhere. So "sonna ni" is like that much. Hometemo comes from the verb homeru to compliment. And hometemo, this temo, the tefon plus mo means even if. So literally, even if you compliment me that much, nani mo, nothing. Denai yo. So nani mo has to be used with negation. So deru is the dictionary form come out to leave. Uh, but nani mo denai, together they mean nothing comes out. So literally, sonna ni homete mo nani mo denai yo means you won't get anything. Nothing comes out of me, like no money or no gift comes out, of, comes out from me, even if you give me so many compliments. So sonna ni homete mo nani mo denai yo. You can also get rid of sonna ni and just say homete mo. Nani mo denai yo. Homete mo nani mo denai yo. Formally, you could also say, Homete mo nani mo demasen yo. Homete mo nani mo demasen yo. This basically means flattery won't get you anywhere. And sometimes maybe flattery won't get you anywhere it can sound harsh uh, or mean, but definitely in Japanese, Homete mo nani mo denai yo just sounds like a um, friendly joke. So people wouldn't get offended, definitely not. And honestly, if someone who's learning Japanese says this to me, I would be impressed. I'd be like, wow, <laughs> your Japanese is good. I would genuinely say, Nihongo jōzu desu ne. If someone says, Homete mo nani mo denai yo. <laughs> and the last one that I'm going to teach you is common 
but some people think it's a bit negative. You can say, おせじが上手ですね。おせじが上手ですね。おせじ means flattery or empty compliment or compliment that you don't really mean or not really genuine compliment. So salesman often does this or, you know, when you go into a shop and they're trying to sell something, like, you know, a necklace and you say, oh, that looks so great. You look so beautiful, you know, and it just looks terrible. You know, they're only saying that、um, because they want to sell it. You, you can think that that's o s e j i o s e j i And o s e j i ga jozu desu ne basically means you are good at giving empty compliments,、uh, which sounds really mean. But when people say o s e j i ga jozu desu ne they don't always mean something bad. They just are saying that I don't believe that you. Think I'm cute, for example, because I'm not confident. Like, I don't think I'm cute, so I don't believe you. So that must be an oseji. So that's how people think rather than you're lying, you're a liar.、Um, <laughs> they don't mean usotsuki, right? They just mean that they don't believe it. So that's why people don't, some people use it, but some people also don't like it because that can be negative. But You shouldn't really get offended when people say, おせじが上手ですね They are just not confident. That's it. They don't mean anything bad. So if someone says, おせじが上手ですね you can just say, おせじじゃないですよ It's not an おせじ It's not an empty compliment. おせじじゃないですよ Or you can say, いや本当に No, really. No, I mean it. いや本当に So, if you say, like, すごく綺麗です you're very beautiful, and someone says, おせじが上手ですね you're flattering me.、Um, you're just giving me a, おせじ you can say, いや本当に綺麗ですよ No, you really are beautiful. No, then that's nice. Very nice. <laughs> and instead of, おせじが上手ですね they might also say, おせじでしょ o s e j i でしょでしょ is like, isn't it? Am I right? I know it is, isn't it? So, o s e j i でしょ is like, it's an o s e j i you're giving me. It's kind of like, you're just saying that, you're just being polite. But again, they don't mean something bad. They're just not confident. And another thing you might hear with this o s e j i is, o s e j i でも嬉しい which is more positive than the other two. o s e j i でも This demo, demo usually means but, but you can also use it like even if it's, even if it is. So even if it is an oseji, an empty compliment, it makes me happy. Oseji demo, ureshi. So you might be saying this just to be polite, but it still makes me happy. So maybe you don't mean that I'm cute, but I'm still happy.、Uh, oseji demo, ureshi. So, the ones that I would recommend you to use is もっと褒めて<laughs> compliment me more or てれるよ you're making me blush or 褒めても何も出ないよ I can't give you anything even if you give me a compliment. They are good ways to respond to compliments. And make sure to give compliments to your friends and your partners and your families. You know, they are nice. <laughs> It's really nice to hear nice things, right? <laughs> Obviously.、Um, but I also like to hear them. So、uh, I'm not telling you, but you could maybe leave some comments. And that might make my day. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And if you'd like to support me on Patreon, the link is in the description box, so please check that out. Arigato ne! Jamata ne! Bye bye!